welcome to this week overview. During this week, we're going to talk about reactions over time. So any change that happens over a period of time can be expressed as a rate. The reaction rate is how fast the reactants are being consumed, how fast the products are being formed, or fast energy is being absorbed or released. What factors cause reaction rates to change? Factors that affect reaction rates include temperature, surface area, concentration, stirring, and catalysts. The reaction rate of a chemical reaction depends on how often reactant particles collide. If the collisions occur more frequently, then the reaction rate increases. If the collisions occur less frequently, then the reaction rate decreases. Reaction rates can be changed by varying conditions. We have temperature, which generally an increase in temperature will increase the reaction rate, while a decrease in temperature will decrease the reaction rate. For example, you store milk in a refrigerator to slow down the reactions that cause the milk to spoil. The rate of spoiling decreases if the milk is kept cold. On the other hand, increasing the temperature of a substance causes its particles to move faster. On average particles, they move faster are both more likely to collide and more likely to react if the number of collisions that produce reaction increases, then the reaction rate increases as well. We also have the surface area. The smaller the particle size of a given mass, the larger is its surface area. Increased surface area increases collisions that involve reacting particles. With more collisions, more particles will react. For example, this fire was a combustion reaction between grain dust and oxygen. The rate of combustion was very rapid due to the small particle size of the grain dust. Stirring reactants increases their exposure to each other. In a washing machine, particles of detergent react with particles of the stains on clothes. A washing machine speeds up the reaction by stirring the content back and forth. The concentration refers to the number of particles in a given volume. You can change the reaction rate by changing the concentration of the reactants. The more reacting particles that are present in a given volume, the more opportunities there are for collisions involving those particles and the reaction rate is pretty much faster. For example here, the dye solution in the left beaker is more concentrated than the solution in the right beaker, increasing the concentration of the dye increases the rate of color change in the material. For gases, concentration change with pressure. The greater the pressure of a gaseous reactant, the greater is its concentration and the faster is the reaction rate.